begin Monday morning on the right by observing three astronauts returning to Earth from the International Space Station. NASA astronaut Shane Kimbrough and Russian cosmonauts Sergei Rizhikov and Andrei Borisenko are scheduled to leave the ISS in the Soyuz capsule and then make the journey of three and a half hours to the surface of our planet. Although if you want to see these events unfold, it's going to be a wake-up call in the morning. The astronauts are scheduled to enter the Soyuz around 12.40 a.m. ET tomorrow and then decouple at 3.57 p.m. at Tomorrow's game will mark the end of a 173-day stay aboard the ISS for the three departing crew members. The trio launched the station at the Soyuz in October last year. This was the second mission to the ISS by both Kimbrough and Borzenko, and the first to Rizikov. During his stay, Kimbrough made three spacewalks to exchange batteries and repair the exterior of the ISS, bringing his total number of spacewalks to six. To complete a stay of 173 days on board of the islands with the equipment set to go out tomorrow, it means there is a new commander of the ISS. This morning, Kim Brown handed over ISS command to NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson, who has been aboard the station since November. It is not the first time he has celebrated this role either. Whitson made history in 2008 when she became the first ISS female commander and is now making history once again by becoming the first woman to command the station twice. It's just one of many records Whitson is breaking during his mission. With the command exchange, Kimbrough and the rest of the crew are ready to make the trip back to Earth tomorrow. After uncoupling 4 a.m., Monday time, its Soyuz will remain in orbit for a couple of hours, further advancing from the ISS. Then, at 6.28 a.m. ET, the Soyuz capsule will light up its engines for a few minutes, taking the vehicle out of orbit and dropping it onto Earth. The capsule is scheduled to land next, an hour later at 7.21 a.m. ET in Kazakhstan, 